Well, thank you. Just first, I want to give a thank you, a deep, heartfelt thank you to all the healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, everyone else who are on the front lines risking their lives for us, and to my staff, led by Jerry, uh, uh, Jerry Petrella and Megan Tyra. This, this bill wouldn't have happened. To the American people, we say big help, quick help is on the way because we face about the most unprecedented health crisis we have. Uh, the five pillars that we fought for to make the bill better, much better than the bill Friday, are all in the bill, and let me quickly explain them. First and foremost, a Marshall Plan for hospitals and health care, uh, nursing homes, community health centers, etc. These places desperately need help. They need ventilators. They need equipment. They need PPE all kinds of things. They need to build new beds. They have so much strain. There's $130 billion in for health care in our health care system to be injected right away to help with the shortage of ventilators, equipment, and other things, as well as what else they need. Second, this is worker-friendly, workers first. We didn't want to put corporations first. We thought the original bill did that too much. This is workers first, and let me explain that. So many people have been thrown out of work. Um, through no fault of their own. The restaurant closes, the small business closes. Now all of those people will be able to apply quickly and easily for unemployment insurance and all, most of them will get their full salaries or very, very close to it. So, and they can be furloughed, which means uh, that they can stay on the payroll of the company they work for, keep the benefits that that company was giving them, and then when God, God willing, this horrible crisis is over. These businesses can reassemble because the employees will not have been scattered to the wind. Third, real help for state and local governments, $150 billion worth. Our state and local governments are hurting. Many of them are going broke. They need the help. Fourth, some real oversight and accountability, transparency of this large corporate, corporate uh, lending facility. And the bottom line there is that we will know very shortly after any contract with the Fed or with the Treasury is signed with a company, any loan is made, we will have the full details of the loan document. It will be published very, very shortly afterwards. Congress will get it. The public will get it. And, and we have strong oversight. Elizabeth Warren helped me to design those so that we have an inspector, a special inspector general to look over this as well as a congressional board. Fourth. Uh, help for small business. Small businesses have been desperate for help. I know the anguish of small business people who spent lot, years, years building up their business and boom, gone. They're going to get uh, very uh, interest-free loans. They're going to have their, their employees paid for by the Small Business Administration so they can keep them. So those, that's what's in the bill. And it is a good bill. Is it, does it have everything we need? No. Are some things in there that I would have rather not had? No. Of course. But this is the art of compromise. This is the art of coming together. America needed huge help quickly, and I think we've risen to that occasion. Much more money for hospitals. Uh, the unemployment compensation plan has been strengthened and lengthened. There was virtually no accountability over these corporate bailouts. Uh, the transparency and accountability uh, it, that I mentioned is there. The small business, much of it was there. That was the one thing that was there to begin with. But we have greatly strengthened the bill and we're proud of what we've done. Had the bill passed originally, had the bill passed originally, uh, there would have been huge holes in it in our opinion. About billions and tens of billions of these loans and, and, and to companies and no one would know what it is. Now, within seven days, Congress gets the full document. Within 14 days, they're made public. Each one and the whole document, not just, not just the outline. So every, there will be accountability and, in fact, many of the suggestions that Elizabeth Warren, who went through this uh, with the TARP Oversight Board, uh, were incorporated. She worked with me on it. We wrote a provision, not just the President, but any major figure in government, Cabinet, Senate, Congressman, if they have majority, they or their family have majority control, they can't get grants or loans, and that makes sense. Those of us who write the law shouldn't benefit from the law. We don't know. We don't know. One of the, the two awful things about this crisis are, one, that we don't know how long it's going to last, who's affected. We still don't exactly know. I asked a doctor friend of mine uh, the other night a rudimentary question, which is, once you get it, are you immune? No one knows the answer to that. So the, the unknown is one thing, and that's why we, we may have to, we'll, we, we should be willing, able to come back in a bipartisan way and do more if we need it, and I believe we'll probably have to do that one way or another. 
The second problem about this crisis, John, is it separates us. We New Yorkers, we love to be together. We mix and mingle and get strength from one another, and isolation is tough. Well, I'll have, to, I'll have to take stock after we pass this bill, and by the way, I think we will pass it today. You know, they have to, the, the staff, who's done such an amazing job, has to write everything and make sure everything's accurate and all of that, and then I'll have to decide what to do. I've been down here for close to two weeks.